When you first launch the Tasty Trade platform, you will be presented with the dashboard. And this is a quick way in the mornings to glance at the overall market conditions because at the top, you'll see a quick chart of SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. And directly below that, there will be a section for any relevant news that's coming into the market. And this is updated on an hourly basis and also a refresh button that you can click. Then to the right, you're gonna see some general information about your account, such as your account number, general account metrics, such as the equity curve over time, current balances, PL performances, and your available buying power. If we scroll down below this, you're going to see a quick list of companies with upcoming earnings on the left side. In the middle, we have dividend champions, which are companies who increase their dividend payouts for 25 consecutive years, and then some fast movers in the markets on the right side. Now, for any reason, if you don't want to see this dashboard when you sign in, then in the bottom left corner right here, you have a function to toggle off the dashboard when the platform is launched. So in the future, when you toggle this off and sign in, the dashboard will no longer pop up. Okay. For now, let's go ahead and minimize the dashboard. So here is the Tasty Trade desktop platform where your trades will be executed. Now for general platform navigation, let's break it down into different sections to simplify what we're looking at. So at the very top here, you'll see an account number if you're not in privacy mode, some current balances, performance details such as your PL metrics again, and available option and stock buying power. We also have a day trade counter and today's trades counter at the top here as well. And then also delta and theta as well. So this can help provide a snapshot of your overall portfolio and it'll help you understand your positions to risk and time decay effectively. And this top section is also where you can search for different ticker symbols. Let me clear out that drawing. So right now it's currently on NVIDIA, but if we left click on the active symbol, we can type in any other ticker. So if I type in Netflix and then hit enter my keyboard, we'll immediately see the quotes populate for Netflix. If you don't know the ticker symbol, instead you can type in the company's name. For example, if I type in Salesforce, and in this case, the ticker is CRM, and it will be in the drop-down menu for us to select, okay? And then let me review the left side panel over this side. This is for your watch list and any recent symbols that were looked up. And the neat thing about recent symbols or the watch list is if you left click on any one of these symbols now, it will populate the quotes for them. So you don't have to keep manually typing in a ticker. Let me remove this. And now let's focus on the center panel. This is the primary section for your trade activity. This is where you'll be placing trades, charting, tracking your PL. And if I can direct your attention to the positions, trade, and activity tabs right here and here, these will be the three main tabs that you're going to use very often. So you may want to familiarize with the location of these panels. And below these panels, we have all these different icons right here. So these icons will have research tabs. It'll be where you search for different, um, different charts. You can view companies' financials, news, forecasts. So this is where you do your fundamental and technical analysis right here. You can also watch the Tasty Live show, and you can follow the Tasty traders to see what positions they may be getting into right here. And also below this, you're going to find a history tab to reconcile any of your profit and losses. And at the very bottom, there's a question mark icon that will take you to our help center anytime you have any questions or a specific feature that you're looking for. So let me clear this out. Next is the right side panel over here. So the right side panel is essentially an abbreviated version of the middle panel. So it can be collapsed or expanded by left clicking on the arrow inside the square. If you're using a secondary monitor, you can actually pop this window out and then drag it to the other monitor by clicking on this arrow right here. So the right side panel, it'll provide you a general overview of your accounts in this trade activity, and also a unique feature we have at Tasty Trade called Order Chains. And this will track your performance on options as you make adjustments and roll them out, 
And this section will also let you set price alerts on different underlyings. For example, if I click on this bell icon at the bottom, it will bring up a menu to allow me to set an alert. So I can set parameters to alert me once a price triggers above or below a certain threshold. And then I can click on create alert. So this will notify me on the platform once the alert triggers. And also if you downloaded the mobile application, once the alert triggers, you'll be notified on the platform and on your phone as well, assuming you have the push notifications enabled. For now, let's go ahead and collapse this right side panel. So it's also important to know on the platform where to locate your settings. So anywhere you see a gear icon right here, here, and here, this will bring up the platform settings. So if I left click on here, there's a lot of features on the platform. So you may want to customize it however way you want to. For example, if I go in general and then this platform is a little bit too dark or you have troubles reading the contrast due to the darker version, you can left click here where it says use light color theme and it will bring the platform to a light mode. For now, I'm going to change it back to the darker version and then click OK.